Hey y'all, this is day four. And um I think I look better in the face. Um I think I sound better. My throat doesn't hurt as much anymore. Um I've been walking around much more. Um day four. I'm at the regretful stage. I do regret it and I hate saying that because I wanted this surgery so bad and um, hopefully next week I won't feel like this um, but as of today and I'm only in day four so um, I feel like a lot of people show the before and the after pictures where I was big here now I'm small here but they don't talk about this face i have been scrolling through um youtube and i see a few videos of people saying or well, talking about the this face because see this face i feel like matters not the most but i feel like it matters because this shit hurts it hurts and you can't really do anything, but all I do is sleep all day. And I'm not the one to want to just lay around all day long, even though I'm plus size. I'm very active for my size. I don't like to just sit around all day. I don't like to just lay up in the bed um, and just have people do stuff for me. I like to do stuff on my own. Today, I was able to wash my own self on day four because I'm very... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? I'm, I'm just very, um, I don't know the fucking word I'm looking for. I'm just very independent. I like washing my own ass. I like fixing my own food. I like doing a lot of the stuff myself, even though my wife is very helpful. She helps me a lot. Um, I just like doing stuff myself. And um, the first couple of days, you're going to need somebody to be there with you, to help you through this um but yeah day four gastric bypass i'm supposed to get in four bottles of water my doctor told me that i'm not expected to get in the full four bottles but at least two i think he said and y'all if you can see this can you see it moving around in there you can kind of see where it's at right there that's all i've been able to get in me today and I was able to have four ounces of chicken broth. I was able to get all of that in me. Um, plus, if you're thinking about getting a surgery, you want to get these cups because it's very helpful. Even when you get to the stage where you're starting to eat, um, you're going to want to uh, keep up with your portions so that you don't overeat. So you want to go buy these. I have a bigger one that I'm not using yet but it's uh, this is 8 ounces I'll probably be using this next week but um, I haven't been able to get my liquids in like I'm supposed to which is why I'm probably so weak um, this is my first time today getting up taking my bonnet off trying to make myself look like something but all day long, I've just been laying around, um, sleeping a lot. And um, I just want to move. So hopefully tomorrow, when I wake up, I can move a little bit more. Um, I'm not trying to deter anyone from getting this surgery. I'm not trying to make anybody say, oh, I'm not getting it. Because I'm pretty sure in a few weeks, I'm going to be like, best thing I ever did. I'm going to start seeing the weight come off, and I'm going to be excited, and I'm going to be happy. But I feel like if you can try to lose the weight on your own first, then at least try. But if you cannot, you've tried everything out there, then this surgery is for you. Because I've tried it all. I've tried keto. I've tried Slim Fast. 
I've tried um, cutting back. I've tried no breads, no sodas, no snacks. Um, and, I'm, and I'm a big girl, but I'm not really big on um, like cakes and stuff like that. But I've tried all of that, and I'll lose probably around 10 pounds. And then I don't know if this is um, anybody else, but for me, somebody say to me before I had the surgery, somebody was to say, Oh my God, Coco, it looks like you're losing weight. In my mind, I'm like, okay, well shit, I can also lose a few pounds, I'm going to go eat. That was my thought process. So I would gain it all right back. You have to be in the right mindset for this shit. You have to prepare for this shit. That liquid diet is very important. You're going to have to go on a liquid diet two weeks before your surgery and I think it's very important because it will help you after the surgery because it's nothing but liquids and you are forced to be on nothing but liquids because your stomach is going to tell you after one sip that's it I don't want nothing else um so yeah I just feel like a lot of people just just see the like me I was one of those people I was one of those people that looked on Facebook and Instagram and I would see the before pictures of somebody my size and then I would see the after pictures and I'm like, oh my God. And they had gastric bypass. Oh, I want that. And like I said, it's been almost a year I've been trying for this and I got it. I've been wanting and I've been doing everything my doctor's been telling me to do and now I got it and I'm so happy that I have it and it's over. But now, in my mind, I'm like, was it worth it? Now, I'm only on day four. So, I may not feel like this next week. And this is just my journey. I am taking you guys on Coco's journey. Not to say that this is going to happen to you. This is what's happening to me. Four days later, I'm saying to myself, was it worth it? I'm going to keep you guys posted. I'm going to try to post a video every day. But Tuesday, I will be showing y'all my puree stuff and how much I'm able to get in me. Um, I appreciate my little six subscribers. I don't know who you are. I can't see it. I haven't really learned how to work YouTube yet. But I do see that I have six subscribers. And I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Um... And I'm going to be posting another video tomorrow. Coco's journey. Fourth day. Gastric bypass.